Okay, let's take a look inside. It's some really nice entrance tiles here. Everything done very rustically. There's been quite a few reforms and modernization done, as you can see. All the doors are new. That's just a little good use of understairs storage here. Little Hoover closet. I think you English call it. The rest of you don't know. Broom closet. Very nice lounge. Dining area. Decent size. Now, originally, this was a fireplace, which has since been removed for I don't know what reason, but anyway, easy enough to get the fireplace back in. Plenty of space for it. Now you've got door there, which leads out onto the covered veranda, which we'll get to in a sec. Kitchen's really nice. Eden. Decent size. And again, you've got these lovely tiles here. Give you a close up. It was my knee. Couch tops are. Hmm. Nope, those are the real thing. I was about to say artificial, but no. And you've got the touch hob, oven, double sink. Good dishwasher there as well. Comes in handy. Plenty of counter space. So, again, all these aluminum windows with mosquito nets are new. There's the pool there. And then another door from the kitchen leading out to the pool. Good size. Very nice. Pill is in really, really good condition. Ready to enjoy. Has been lived in for some time now. So, and then you've got a decent sized pantry, larder, your washing machine, a little spare fridge here. Very bright entire place. Let's start with the master. A little light on the subject. Got a walk-in wardrobe. Plenty of storage. Plenty of space. Decent sized bedroom. Lots of light again. And then you've got a double wardrobe there. Good storage up on top. Ceiling fan. It's a lot cooler, noticeably cooler inside with the tall ceilings, but to install air conditioning is quite inexpensive these days and painless. It's the ensuite, so you've got a full tub. It may not be much on this sort of retro pukey color of pink, but certainly easy enough to uh, swap that out in the sink and toilet match. So, the tile is quite neutral. Well, having said that, it's actually a pinkish color. That would be easy enough to swap out if you decided to change the colors. And then you have a shower cubicle there, which is kind of nice to have both. Bath and shower. Bedroom two, decent size, and two wardrobes, one there. It's also oil heating, 
to save you a fortune in electric bills. Another wardrobe there and a ceiling fan. There isn't any air conditioning in here, but you know, based on the sort of open up that door there, open up those windows there, and you get a nice cross breeze to keep you cool. Although the ceiling fan, you know, they are quite good at keeping you cool. Here's another double, two single beds in it, but double size. And then another set of double wardrobes. Shelves. And then I guess on that side you would have the hanger. And here's the guest bath or family bath, shower, I should say. This is nicely done. With a sort of greenish accent. And again, you know, sort of retro 80s, sort of, don't even know what shade of green you would call that. The same for the toilet, but you know, you're talking about a couple hundred euros, maybe even less, for a decent Oroka toilet, sink, and so forth. And then marble stairs lead up. Excuse me. Lots of light up here. Now, this is mm, whatever you want, really. I mean, you can see they've got some extra beds laid out here for guests and so forth. But this could be a good office, studio. You know, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows up here. So, plenty of light, and this leads on to the terrace. Give you a, a view of the garden. There's a doghouse back there. If you're in trouble, go sleep in the caravan. You can leave your alarm clock at home. Plenty of roosters in the countryside to keep you awake or I should say wake you in the morning. You've also got a ceiling fan there too, nice and convenient. Right, so this is a good amount of space. Wouldn't hazard a guess, but I'd say it's probably about 20, 20 and change square meters. So, plenty of scope for whatever you want. And then outside, you've got a huge sun terrace here. Not overlooked, nice and private. Now you'll hear and see some neighbors this time of the year, but in the off season really it's just birds and bees and flowers and trees and then off there in the distance you can see the low-lying hills, which always sort of keep the trees moving here. It's always a bit of a breeze going on. And these giant pines to the front. They do make a bit of a mess, but certainly keep the house private and you really can't see it from the gate. The brilliant Bougainvillea just doing its best to uh, grow well. They're all blooming now. Quite mature. Big palm tree here to the front. Just a shade tree here. You can see the size of this Bougainvillea. Just enormous. Beautiful, one of my favorite plants, especially this one, the reddish pink leaves. And there's the pool there. Obviously it hasn't been filled for the season, and it doesn't look to be too deep either. Good for the kitties. And then behind it there, that's just a storage room. Got a pump filter there, that's a decent size. And, you know, the surroundings are really quite lovely. You know, this is just, looks to be like an empty plot right beside you here. A bunch of olives. Not much else. Very nice design with a brick. Not so common. 
properties tend to be a little bit boring, box-like, but this one definitely has some charm and some character. Jesus, this staircase must have cost a fortune. All shiny marble. Now to the side of the house. Get a great covered veranda here with its arches. All right, plenty of space for a table and chairs. Keep an eye on the kiddies or grandkids when they're in the pool. Now we just saw the pool from above. You see it now ground level. A shower set up here as you can see. And yeah, I mean I couldn't imagine this is the deep end here. I couldn't imagine that would be over about you know chest high. If you're kind of like me, 5'11". Just to show you this outbuilding, we're not going to get in there, but you can see the depth. It is quite deep. With an ancient olive tree behind it. Ancient olive trees all over. Including that gorgeous specimen there. He's a senior citizen. For sure. All right, and then you got this dense sort of foliage here divides the property and again we saw from above you know this is your neighbor here it doesn't look like much is going on but potentially if you want to make this a little bit more private you certainly could you wouldn't offend anybody put anybody off if you threw up a wall or there's some big hedge All right and there's the house very attractive arches oh plenty and of course you've just got water connections all throughout to keep the the garden looking a little bit better than it is right now. Looking a little bit abandoned, but they don't live here and aren't getting any use out of it. This is typically what it looks like. And here you've got your uh, oil heater that heats the, the rads, the exhaust there. Now, this is all grown up, so you, there's several pictures on the website, so I'm just gonna, instead of bashing through the, the hay again, I'll just give you an idea. You got a good little piece of ground here. This has tremendous scope. Got potential here to put a tennis court, basketball court, garden it, do whatever you want, really. And you've got, you know, probably a half dozen or so orange trees, which by the look of them are slightly neglected. And then just back at the back, you'll see there's another fence there. And behind that is actually a, uh, a chicken run kind of thing on the caravan. And then this land goes right up to that sort of tall hedge there, right? So I would say this is a good piece of 1500 maybe square meters. Don't know why they've got it fenced off like this, but anyway, it's part of the property. And you know, you've got some orange here recently planted, but it just shows you even these little babies, you can still get a couple of liters of OJ. And with the other ones there, you certainly have enough orange juice for life. All right, here's another citrus fruit. Not 100% sure. I'm gonna guess it's a lemon based on its size. They sort of grow kind of stunted. Yeah, that's a lemon. Now, this here, I mean, it's just concrete. Oh, by the way, you got a decent sized carport there. Two cars will fit in there nicely. All right, so with these pines, which, you know, are, are actually quite nice and you know, fragrant, you do get quite a bit of mess, but anyway, you're retired now, so you'll find something to do with your time. And then to here, you've got a, a giant storage room, 
building, really. And, you know, potentially I'm not going to get in there because the owner says he's a little bit embarrassed by the amount of things that are in there. But, you know, potentially you could have that as sort of a, a granny flat, you know, one bed with a little kitchenette build a bathroom in there, wouldn't be too difficult to drag water in there, it's already got electrics. And then to the front gate, which is actually quite nice, you can see a picture of it from the outside with the pictures. And then to the front here, again, you've just got some nice grass area that just needs a little bit of attention, some more citrus fruit as well. Very private property, not overlooked, lots of hedge all around, sort of at the end of the urbanization. We're very close to the airport here, probably only about maybe a 10, 12 minute drive uh, to the airport. Sevilla is probably about 20 minute drive and Carmona about the same, about 20 minutes into Carmona. So very well located, very well located here. Um, if you are looking for privacy, a good looking property as this is, it's offered well below similar properties in the area for a quick sale. And really, it's a matter of just unpacking your suitcases and you can enjoy it straight away. Okay, thanks for watching. That's the end of our tour. Keep on watching. Lots of properties uploaded all the time. And in the meantime, happy house hunting.